Welcome to DCPL Summer Reading Program 2020. Today's production is for educational purposes only. Hi, I'm Courtney here at the Dorval Library. Today we're going to be making silhouette paintings. Some of the items that you'll need for today, paper plate, various paintbrushes, different sizes, scissors, pencil, acrylic paints, blank canvases, then also you'll need printouts of the images that you want to paint onto your canvas. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and cut out our images. As you can see, I've already done that here. We have Tinkerbell. We also have Aang. Take our pencil, place our images, and then we're going to trace our image onto our canvas. Already done that. Here's Tinkerbell. And then here we have Aang. For Tinkerbell, I'm going to make her background a mix of green and yellow. So let's take our acrylic paints. This is what you needed the paper paint for to mix your paints. I'm going to take several different greens. And just a little bit of yellow. Take our foam paintbrush here. I'm going to mix this up. I think that's a little dark. I'm going to add a little bit of white. Okay, that's a little better. Then we're going to paint this completely over our canvas, even over our tracing, but you're still going to be able to see your lines. Okay, we are just going to continue to paint our background for Tinkerbell. As your paintbrush runs out of paint, just come back over, pick up a little bit more. I made it to add a little more to the plate. Good. And as you can see, we can still see our outline of Tinkerbell. Fill in a little few spots on this. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to Aang's background to allow Tinkerbell's background to dry a little bit. So I'm going to take a few blue options. Use a different paper plate now. Also going to add in a little bit of white. to mix these colors up. I'm going to paint Aang's background. Good. 
we can still see our outline of A. Get a few spots on it. Now we're going to allow that to dry. And we're going to move back over here to Tinkerbell. Next, we're going to take black paint. We're going to go in with a small, more detailed brush. Let's see, like this one. And basically, what we're going to do is paint everything inside the tracing of Tinkerbell. a steady hand, but you can do it. Continue to fill this in. You don't have to use these particular characters that I use. You can print out any silhouette and have the same result. You're just going to continue to fill that out. And once you finish that, as you see here on this one, we're going to add a little bit of pixie dust. So we're going to take some yellow paint. I already still have some black. So I'm also going to put a small amount of white paint here. Take the end of our brush, dip it into the yellow, I'm just going to make dots. The end of her wand is right here, so I'm gonna, it's going to look as if it's coming out of her wand. Plate. Now you can add a few black dots. Wipe some of that onto your plate and then you can add a few white dots. Now we're going to take another paintbrush and just again use the end of it. This time we're going to kind of make little stars by dragging our paintbrush. In these different directions. Do as many or as few of these as you like. Okay, and that way Tinkerbell has some fairy dust. 
Now we're going to move on to Aang's picture. Switch these out. Touch the top. There was a little more paint right there. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our black paint. We do the exact same thing we did with Tinkerbell. So for this time, it has to do a little bit more detail only to get around his eyes and around the arrow that's on his forehead. Kind of helps if you rest your hand on the table to keep it a little more steady. Good so far. Continue following your line that you traced. Many of the items I use today you can find at your local craft store. And just continue to fill that out. Okay, now we're going to take a look at our finished product once you completely fill that in. Here we have a finished Tinkerbell along with her pixie dust. Here we have a finished egg. Now I didn't show this on camera, but with this one, if you wanted to add an extra detail, you can drag your paint, your paintbrush through the paint in order to make this pattern. Both of these were done on canvases, but if you don't have a canvas, again, absolutely possible to do this onto paper, no problem. Again, the paper will probably try to curl and then just sit some heavy books on top of it and it'll work out just fine. Hope you enjoyed today's production. Follow DCPL on YouTube for more programs. Thank you.